Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a Ronson Princess automatic petrol lighter with a durium finish. It is marked Ronson on the left side of the post and durium on the back side. I could only find a couple of references to durium. Uh, one referred to durium plating and the other one referred to a rich durium finish on some Ronson cases or case lighters. This has a very nice engine turn design on the front along with a monogram panel which is monogrammed GHL And the back of the lighter is black enamel. So you've seen a lot of Ronson automatic lighters. We've all seen a lot of them. But this one does get your attention without, even without knowing the enamel on the back just the finish is so much different than the typical Ronson chromed finish. This looks more like copper or brass with a some sort of strange patina. I have no idea what durium is. I don't need to say it again. I'm not a expert on metals. I just know what I read on the internet and a little bit of experience that I may have had in a former life. This lighter on the base is marked Ronson with the US patent and all that information. And then up top it has the Canada patent. And then it says Art Metal Works, Newark, New Jersey. So I said in the intro, Ronson Princess and it is not marked as such. Uh, that's an assumption on my part based on the fact that it appears to me to be the exact same size as other princesses that I have. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that. Also if you have any information about what durium is or the durium finish what that might have entailed was that just some kind of plating if you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters ashtrays tobacchiana and other useful mechanisms please subscribe to the channel please like the video that you're watching Tell your friends about the channel. Hit that share button. Send the link off in a text, email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. 
You can also leave any comments or questions below the video. There's also patent information underneath the thumb lever here. I think the camera will pick that up even though I can't see it with my eyes right at the moment. This lighter shows scuffs, scrapes, tarnish, <clears throat> finish or plating loss. The slots in the screws are still in pretty good shape. And while it does have some plating or finish loss and scuffs wear to the paint, overall it is uh, in very good condition. Nice vintage condition, used. I think the Ronson standard is a little bit wider, maybe a little shorter. I am almost certain this is a Ronson Princess. Just am not an expert on Ronson lighters. But I am a fan of the mechanism and the interchangeability and there are parts lying all over the place relatively and reasonably priced Got this flint wheel cleaned up and sparks really well. Very good. Functioning lighter. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. That will be Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com. I always like to think when I get a lighter like this, do I know anyone with those initials that it would just make sense to give the lighter to? I can't think of anyone at the moment. But this is a, a nice lighter worthy of being in someone's collection. I don't know that I would carry it. Uh, with the paint and also even though this finish may not make it any more valuable than a regular chromed Ronson it still would stand out in your collection displayed alongside other Ronsons.
Until next time.